Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Today we're talking tantalizing Timu tidbits. Mm. Trash. As you know, I have made a couple of Timu videos in the past. Timu, the online shopping platform for Shop Like a Billionaire. I've ordered some aquarium stuff from it in the past. And why not try and milk that bandwagon? That's not the right metaphor. For as long as we can. Um, so, if you have ever used the platform, you might be familiar with this. You get constantly bombarded with messages, with offers, with deals, with, oh, it's too amazing to miss out on. Um, so I looked at one of those and it said, we have found a load of things based on your shopping experience that you will like and we're going to give them to you for free. I like a free thing as much as the next person. So I thought, all right, I'll click on it. Um, I must be clear, I went into this knowing that that would not be free. But, you know, so you press the button that spins the wheel, which gives you an offer, and then they move some prizes around on the screen, and then you get 100% off, and this, that, and the other. Pick £30 worth of stuff. So it's the most infuriating thing I've ever done, trying to shop. Imagine if you wanted to shop on Timu. It'd be really hard to do. You can't just click a product and click buy. You have to jump through all the hoops. But anyway, we did all that. I picked my set of free products. Well, I didn't actually. I let it pick the things based on what it wanted to recommend for me. Um, and we've got them. They actually arrived weeks and weeks ago. I've just had them sitting in the drawer, not thought to do anything with them. But now is the time that we need to bring them back out because I found them again. So the first thing that they got, which was recommended for me, um, like I say, these were all in the 100% free category. These ones cost me £3.99. <laughs> so they were not free in the end. I think they just get you to a point where you think, right, I'm invested now. I'm going to have to go all the way and buy these things. I'm not just giving it up on it. Um, but this one was both interesting and scary, as it all falls apart here. What we've got here is some um, uh, irrigation tips. So, you remember I made a video a little while ago about how I kept my aquarium plants and kept them above water and then I set it up with a mister. So these are mister tips. I'm like, is it listening to my Alexa? Well, I don't know I want these things. So basically it's an extension. It's these little, um, what do you call it? Little valves, T pieces. They're, they're single use only, so I'm not going to actually do it until I actually use them. But they're fairly robust. They look as good as any other ones, as do the actual mist heads. Um, they've got little screwy on bits so you can tighten it and change the pattern. They actually look quite good. So for four quid, that was fine. Um, so I was kind of happy with them because I did want to expand my misting for my plants. Um, so you've got three leads, three T pieces. Um, obviously... You have to provide your own interconnects between the three because you only get the bits with the misters on them. Um, but yeah, four quid, happy enough. Just wonder how much my online privacy has been sold to my details to the highest bidder. Who knows? So that's that. That's fine. The next thing I got, <laughs> uh, which I was kind of happy they put me in. Or was I happy? I, I saw this in my basket on Timu. The three-in-one fairy filter. Is that for filtering fairies? Is it a filter for fairies? Am I the fairy? Who knows? It's a three-in-one fairy filter. Um, again, wasn't free, because none of them were. It was actually £9. £9.20, I think this was. Which, in the world of filters, isn't too bad. Um, if you're wondering about these, by the way, the hand things. Come and join me on a Friday night for my live stream and we'll tell you all about it there again. Um, but essentially it looks like a fairly robust air filter. So you get the central cartridge which has a, a big block of sponge in it here. So the sponge the water comes in here and these are just the, the sticky bits on there. Sponge, some bio balls, slot that in, and it's like a, a sponge filter that you can discreetly place at the back of us. So you stick it to the, um, the wall of your aquarium, connect an airline here, and the, that goes down here, sucks up through there, and 
outputs here. So I don't know why that makes it a fairy. But I kind of like the idea of it, the size of it, the shape of it. It's fairly inobtrusive. The sponge does look very dense, so I suspect that might need quite regular cleaning. So it's quite fine, fine, dense. I know what I mean. So it will require lots of cleaning. But as a thing, and you probably wouldn't get a sponge filter for a tenor like that, and it has bio. I'm happy with that. You can put that... Often with sponge filters, they're quite big and bulky and ugly looking, whereas this will hide behind things quite well. So, if you can put up with being called a fairy for £10 or £9.27, I think that's all right. So, again, Timu, not all that trashy so far. So far. A water curtain filter medium. Now, I'm assuming that's because it's a medium size. Water cur filter medium. It's not the filter media, it's the filter medium um, from Nomoi Pit Aquarium. Quite interesting uh, decals there, you know, because lots of people are keeping discus and turtles in the sea. But I don't know. So anyway, let's have a look at this. So we'll have to try it out and see. I'll try out all these products, see how we go on with them. But my hands are a bit broken at the moment and I can't actually open this. So I don't know how this is meant to work. This looks extremely complex. Um, there are no instructions. The features are the design of circulation filtration is small but reasonable. Can keep the water clean for a long time. Filtering material can be chosen according to the need. It is suggested that using biochemical ball at the bottom layer and filtering cotton on the top layer giving the fish and turtle a clean living environment. Going with the fish and the turtle theme, clearly. Giving you pleasant breeding experience. Are you expecting me to do some breeding? Am I getting involved in the breeding? Why is it pleasant for me? Um, side hook and no screw slot design used to complete the fixing. There are two height to adjust. The front and rear can be adjust. The water curtain filter can be hung. The wall of the fish turtle tank. Okay, so they're really committed to the whole fish turtle thing. In here, we, we have a piece of tubing. Some fittings. more fittings this and some more tubing in the box it says it's like a waterfall filter I don't see how where is it water falling from it's a hole in the bottom here so water comes in here rises up and comes out of the sides maybe Then there's this that it sits in. So I'm assuming this attaches to the tank, and then you can just lift this out and in again. More investigation required. Clever Graham would have looked at the listing on Timu to see how to put this together. So there was no instructions on this, um, but it's fairly straightforward. I don't quite get it but yes it has this lid for easy access but when it's built you can't access anything because this is in the way so this is the spray bar so the idea is this goes on a pump it comes with two for different sizes of pump so you've got all the adapters you need but yeah this goes on the pump which goes up here in filters through here so this thing here has lots of holes on the underside of it which you can just about see there Filters through some filter media, some floss, maybe some bio media underneath that, which is separated by this little bit here, which is quite nice. And then, as it's called the waterfall filter, you'd think it would then flow back into the tank, but it doesn't. It flows this way. So it attaches to your tank here, so it's internal. Unless I'm really stupid, but it looks like it's internal, so it'll sit on the lid of your tank, and then the water falls against the back glass or wherever you host it. 
It's also not got that much space for the amount of the size it is, and the plastic's a bit crappy and it's got stuff all over it. And less than impressed with this one. So it's on sale at Timu for seventeen pounds something. I paid eleven. Mm. It's worth about eleven. I don't know. I just I was not not impressed with the quality of this one. Let's say that. Whereas this little one here. This is actually quite sturdy and robust, and I think this will actually be useful. Um, but we'll try them all, and we'll see how we get on. Last but not least is this, which I can only assume, and now that this has been sat here for weeks, uh, now that I've looked at the actual order, is an excrement collector. Everyone needs one of them, surely. Okay, so this is an air-lifting internal filter which has an air inlet, lower cover, precipitate space, filter space, filter space, and upper cover. What else could you need? So it markets itself. It's called the Aquarium Fish Excrement Collector Toilet Automatic Filter. Cleaning for fish tank. I paid £7.17 for this, but today it's on sale for £4.79. So it comes with a couple of suction cup holders. Okay. I'm not going to lie, I have no idea, I don't know how it's meant to work, again, no instructions, but there's an air line, so there's an air line at the bottom, so you clearly you connect an air hose to it, which will then suck things up through here, I assume fish excrement is the main thing it's meant to suck up, which goes into here, through this central tube here, and then there's a little fan blade? Is it a blender? Is it a fish poop blender? Is that how it's meant to work? Um, uh. And then it's just a regular sponge filter or two sponge filters after that. Ah, that's painful. Okay, so these two bits are just regular sponge filters. So the air goes up, drawing the water up through here, through the sponge filters. But in reality, they're hollow, so the air will just go up the middle, drawing the water up the middle, not touching the sponge. Unless I'm missing something. Please feel free to comment what I'm missing, because I'm often missing something. So, this is the bottom section where the air, connect air line there, which will send bubbles up this tube, so water will draw up this tube. This tube directly connects to this little fan piece, which spins round. And that's all I can think it is, is to make poop smoothies. It's got to be. Again, we'll try it out and see what happens. It says it suggests a 10 watt air pump and for tanks no bigger than 120 centimetres. Again, I don't know how they ever come up with these things. But yeah, I'm, I'm looking now at the website and it's showing pictures of air in, water out. Waste and waste obliterated. Ah, right. Okay, so what happens is it draws the waste in, it gets battered by this little fan bit, and then the waste all falls down here. Yeah, so this little propeller piece is to separate your solids. So it's not to make a poop smoothie as such, as to just separate the poop and make the poop easy to collect down here. Is that desirable? Do you want to keep all your fish poop in one place? Surely it's better to just take them out with water changes and stuff. But I suppose if you have some poopy fish... Am I going to say the word poop a hell of a lot on this video? Um, I suppose if you have a lot of poopy fish... Having one easy place to collect them from might be useful. Um, so it's very clear that you have to use it in a tank that's got a clear bottom with no sand, mud and so on. <laughs> I love the language they use in these things. Again, let's try it out. Right, I've been trying to figure this out for so long, the lights have gone off. Well, not quite, but I'm just reading the description again, because again, it didn't come with any instructions. The description says, Aquarium water curtain filter, overhead waste suction, circulating fish tank filter box, no pump needed. How does water get into it then, if no pump is needed? What's this for? Must need a pump. And... I don't, I don't get it. 
this would have to sit so far above the water line. So, if it was to be a nice water curtain, you'd expect it to come out the front, but it comes out the back. So you put it in your aquarium, and it comes out the back of it. But it would have to be under the water line because of the way these sit. I mean, you can move them and get it right out or under, but if it's in the water, it's not doing anything. So I'm struggling to test most of these things because of reasons, um, but I've given them all a good, a good fair shake. And to be fair, I think the fairy filter is my best, not just because of the name. It seems like it actually does what it says it'll do in the tin. So you can see it gets a fairly good stream through it. It pulls in as good as any other sponge filter. I like it. It's discreet. It's well made. It's well built. It looks good. Easy to hide, move it around where you want. You don't, you're not limited to putting it on the floor or th the floor, the ground or the substrate like you are with normal sponge filters. But there are 101 variations of this particular kind of thing. It does the job. Um, obviously, not in a tank like this. I'm just using it here because I can get into this one easily. Same goes for the excrement cleaner. Again, I'm not testing it properly. Um, if you do want to see proper tests, by all means, click that subscribe button, and when things heal up, I will do better tests. But I can see how it's meant to work and see that it would do the thing. Um, the one that I can't is the stupid curtain filter. It just it makes no sense. It sits too far down in the water. If it sits high enough out of the water that you get a curtain, the curtain curtains out of the tank. So why would that? Can't see any way to make it work without a filter, without a pump, sorry. Can't see any way, I can't see any way that it would be good. And it's terribly built. And it's just stupid. So, I finally found some stupid stuff on Timo. There you go. That's my thoughts for it. Like I say, if you are interested in seeing any more of them, click that subscribe button, leave a comment down below, let me know. Oh, Graham, you idiot, you've pressed, you've done that wrong, that's not how you do it. It's meant to work like this. But I've gone through all the instructions. I can see no better way to work, <laughs> set these things up. Um, so two out of three ain't bad. And I'm sure when I get around to testing these, these will work fine because they look like fairly decent high quality parts. Um, but for the, the fairy filter, thumbs up. For the excrement filter, thumbs up. For the curtain filter, Thank you very much for watching. If you like this kind of thing, click that subscribe button. Come and see me on a Friday at 9pm UK time. We do a live stream most Fridays. I'll see you there. Thank you for watching. Bye.